Huh. Hi. Take her over here again. Oh. Thought we could, um, have a look at some memory. Um, so before I get into the actual package the, that I got them, I think I'd just like to uh, exchange a few words about um, memory nowadays on a very general level. I mean, the main memory type you have for PCs is DDR4 on today's motherboards or motherboard CPU combinations. Pretty much DDR3 has kind of yeah, died out. Um, you know, the way you could select memory is you could go out to various hardware sites and try and look at reviews, but it's actually when you get into memory reviews, they tend to be uh, you know, over technical and or over sponsored, so it's not really that easy to um, get information about memory specifically. What you can um, get information about is the amount of memory you need. So some sites do have done some good investigations of that. Uh, yeah, as I said, the um, primary selection criteria for memory is the what pro processor motherboard combination you're using. I mean, I, I think that actually on a more general level, the amount of memory one has is kind of critical. And um, that's gone up actually now. I, most of the reviews that I've looked at, they talk about um, 16 gigabytes as being the kind of minimum if you're going to do mixed workload gaming and video editing and stuff. And um, also, um, if you're going to select a motherboard, then the, the general I, I think I've used the general guideline of that you should actually see that you have at, le uh, at least four memory slots because then you can um, you can use the so-called dual channel memory configuration and then you can put into in like four modules and um, you can start with 16 gigabytes first and then expand uh, I mean, the way I look at memory is that, okay, you know, what kind of a budget does one have, how much one does one want to spend on it, um, you know, try and stay with more larger brands, and, you know, take something that has, like, reasonable performance. I mean, they, I don't think it's, really, you know, DDR4, you know, the, like, the more faster versions, then the price goes up quite a lot, so I don't know if it's really beneficial to buy buy the fastest stuff that exists. Now however you need to be a bit, or at least I've diagnosed from watching quite a lot of reviews, is that you need to be a bit more um, careful if you're going to buy an AMD Ryzen processor which has embedded graphics. Then it becomes more critical what type of, um, what specific type of memory you're going to use. But I think that's probably becoming more, um, more flexible. Yeah, then as I just remember, uh, you could, you know, there are uh, other criteria for selecting memory nowadays. There's the purely aesthetical part because, you know, there are very many um, manufacturers. Well, they don't, you know, they don't manufacture the memory chips. They put them together into um, memory modules, and um, you know, they're competing with each other with the how they look. So if you have a kind of a windowed case and, and you want to sort of dolly it up then you can get like l l flashy LEDs and gold color and all kinds of stuff. So, But I don't know, it's a, have to decide if one cares about the aesthetics. But what one should avoid is the one shouldn't, um, uh, if possible, in the dual channel configuration, don't take two, two I, I avoid using two uh, memory modules from different manufacturers or different speeds. So I always pair them up. So two and two. I think that's all. And um, you, there are, are memory types which have built-in error correction called EEC memory, but uh, usually you don't find them in consumer-grade hardware. So you, you can just forget about that. And the, um, you know, if <clears throat> if one wants to spend special attention on what type of memory one is going to have, then it's usually the best is to look at the motherboard manual. 
usually all motherboard manuals, even the uh, paper version that comes with the motherboard or uh, you know, an online user guide will list what memory is apl applicable to the platform. But I mean, DDR4 is relatively well standardized, and all the speeds are relatively well standardized. So I think that you know, if you're using an Intel platform, then basically whatever everything goes. If you're using AMD, then it's um, pretty much everything goes, except for some some specific uh, borderline cases when you have the uh, inbuilt graphics. Uh, so that was my. Uh, spiel on how to um, easily select memory. Um, so you know, but you know, DDR4 is the major standard. You know, you should have four slots on your motherboard. You know, pair them up, and then the recommendation seems to be now is that you shouldn't have less than 16 gigs of RAM if you're going to do, you know, a little bit of gaming and a little bit of video editing. Then. You know, um, yeah, you could actually have a look at the kit that I have, and um, I use my criteria to buy this, so it's like looking at the, um, you know, it's DDR4, I want to have, you know, start, uh, I have a, I'm going to make a separate video about the motherboard I have, but I have, I have four slots, so I, need, I, I want to have um, two modules, and then, um, I want I optimize the price a bit by not going with the fastest memory. Uh, so this is yeah, they have like two six 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 rating. So you'll you'll see that there are other ones which are like three thousand two hundred and stuff, but then, then you pay a bit of a premium. And I mean for the stuff that I'm gonna use this for it's not that and especially if this is gonna uh, as this is gonna be run in a um uh dual channel memory configuration. I don't think it's that critical for the performance. Well, let's see how we can open this. I think I might need to uh, use scissors to open it. Like, you know, there, there are many main brand manufacturers, thankfully, that assemble memory modules. But Ballistics is one of them. It's quite a well, well known, at least in, around around the area that I live in. So it's actually easy, easy to source. So here we just open that. And we have memory modules. And these are. Um, From here you see the strips. And, um, I just wonder if I should just leave them in here until I'm going to install them. It's usually a good idea not to not to fiddle with electronics if I'm not going to install them. I'll be making a separate video about installing. Ah, but that comes out, that's useful, so I'll probably leave it on the tray like that. And then we can see that we can separate the Again, the paper from the plastic, so that's nice. I'll throw away the plastic. I'll actually, show these a bit better. Oh, they're, they're kind of basic memory modules. Nothing that super fancy, but I don't need anything super fancy. I'm more concerned with having them working than, than if they um, look fantastic. This doesn't look like it's that easy to pop them. Oops. So well, that's the memory module. Just like that. And now I'm gonna put it back. <laughs> Not to damage that. So, I'm just going to... so uh, I mean memory is quite easy, it's not that so you know, you, you you could, like I said, the, the you know the DDR4 is well standardized. The speeds are well standardized. Um, if you're not going to go to insane um, cache ratings, 
I think that you can pretty much pick up anything that's generally available on the shelf and it will work. Plus the thing is that at least on our local the, um, the store where I buy this, it's a local physical store, so you know if there are any issues or it doesn't work then I can just take it back. But I, I think it's going to be okay. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't spend an insane amount of time on, on um, investigating because the performance benefit you'll get is ah, you know, a bit marginal if you don't have a very specific um, use case. But usually, I mean, you, 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 a computer is a balance act between you know, processor, memory, graphics card, even sometimes network performance and things like that. So the and the thing is the two six six speed you never have, I don't think one will ever have to think about the fact that it'll like it'll the memory will be too fast for the any any motherboard will use it. But anyway, I hope that was in, enjoyable and um short overview of this and um yeah, good luck with your memory selections. See you in the next one.